Hey, what's up everybody? So finally, after some long trying to get this mule in the bed, I finally got this mule in the bed. And me and Cameron are gonna go up to La Crosse, Wisconsin and trade this for a pretty nice camper. So let's go. Hey everybody, it is Saturday, it's 7 a.m. It is absolutely raining like a mother and it's been storming and lightning since three in the morning. And I decided that I'm gonna go get the camper by myself because Cameron's not really a morning person and I don't feel like waking him up. So I've been on the road for about, I'd say 40 minutes going north into Wisconsin and it is still raining just as bad as it was at home. So hopefully it cools down before I get there because I definitely do not want to unload the mule and hook up the camper while it's raining because that will not be very fun. But anyways, I'll probably have to stop for gas or diesel somewhere, somewhere along the way, hopefully, probably within the next hour and then get some diesel and get some snacks for the road. Well, right now I'm currently headed around Madison and this road is usually very, very packed anytime that I've come up here for to go to the Dells or to get four wheelers or anything like that. And surprisingly, it is only 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning, but usually this road is very, very, very packed. Stay in the left three lanes. This is the only time that it's not been packed. So I currently just went around the Dells and I lost all cell service completely. I don't have the directions anymore or and I can't listen to music so I'm basically just flying blind and trying to look at Google Maps and try to get myself there and I've reset my phone and done everything and I still have no cell service so I have no idea it's never happened to me before when I came up here so I finally got my navigation back after like 20 minutes which is really strange and it said I had full bars and everything like that I don't know what the issue was with that, but I finally got it back and we're only about an hour away now. So my first stop for fuel of the trip is just outside of Linden Station, Wisconsin, and I'm waiting for this truck to move because there's only one diesel pump at this whole BP. Uh, BP was the only place I could stop. I'm not really a big fan, or nor do I come to BP a lot, but I need fuel and this is the only place. And our... Uh, Hefty mule is just hanging. It's doing good back there. So the mule is just hanging in there, hasn't moved at all. And the only reason that these zip ties are on there is because there's back lights that are supposed to go to this bed. And when I got it, I had no idea where they were or where they went. So they're basically just zip tied on there. Surprising that diesel's under $2 here. Back where I live, diesel's about like 260 to 280. So that's pretty good. Well, I found 10 bucks on the ground and we got a fruit punch Gatorade, a jumbo iced honey bun, and a gas station omelet that hopefully will not make me sick. Solid. So it's back on the road. It's about 40 minutes away from here, so let's go. That burrito was absolutely nasty and I definitely threw it out on the highway after about two seconds of eating it. Hey everybody, so I just picked up the camper. It's a little bit worse than I thought it was. Like the jack needs to be replaced, but in the end it is not that bad of a deal. The inside does need new flooring. I don't know why they put the flooring up, but the floor is decently good and it definitely needs to be cleaned out. Like there's more flooring here, there's a bunk, and then in there's a bathroom with more flooring and stuff in it. And then there used to be like a table right here and the table's back there too. The slide out works. The AC is really cold. It's got this really nice fridge. They already started laying some of the flooring down, but they never finished. And then here's the bedroom. There's not too much water damage. The only spot I found was about right here. And there's a little bit of damage over here, but it definitely does need a clean inside and definitely put the flooring down. Not sure if we're gonna put the flooring down, but for sure we're definitely gonna clean this place out. And hopefully we can get a cool trade for it at the end of the day. And they kind of started hinting that there was like no title and I was getting kind of freaked out because I drove like three hours and I don't know why I forgot to ask about that, but I did up, end up getting a title and like this is messed up and it just needs some odds and ends stuff, but everything works, the furnace, the water, everything like that. 
So that was pretty decent. Come to find out, it also has brand new tires on it, which is a plus. And for 2002, it's not even really that bad. It's pretty, pretty good condition. And the slide up over here is a little bit banged up. But other than that, she's looking pretty good. I forgot to mention up here, it has some, some like front end damage. I don't really know what you would call that. But it's got that. I'm about an hour away from home. I stopped at this quick trip, just to use the bathroom. And I stopped in Dell's for a little bit to talk to my family and friends that are staying up there. And this tire was smoking super bad. Somebody flagged me down on the side of the road. I guess I had my brake controller settings up way too high, which I didn't realize. But luckily the guy flagged me down and the tire's not smoking anymore. But other than that, it's been a pretty good drive, except people just want me to go, you know, 90 on the highway and I'm going about like 70 or 80. So I just made it back home. So here's the camper a little bit more in depth. What I was saying is there's like rivet holes that they filled in up here. Same on that side, I'm not really sure what the reason for that is, but the outside is pretty nice. It's hard to believe this is 2002. I really like these colors. And it does look really good on this camper. So I think I said this before, but the only real body damage on this is this but it doesn't affect the way that it slides out or anything like that so as we go inside here as you can see the flooring isn't finished some of that's coming down but here is the master bedroom it it's pretty decent size and then you lift this up and you can put storage and then there's the storage that runs along the front and then that latches down super hard and then there's a tv stand and then a mirror with a door and this will just slide over. And then here's a kitchen. This is a huge freezer or a fridge and a freezer. And it was really cold. They were storing corn, I guess, in it. The AC works really good. And it's weird that the slide only runs on 12 volts. So you have to have a extra battery, like a Marine or a deep cycle RV battery on the front like some campers have, and that runs the slide, which is weird. And then the slide runs off right here and these need to be screwed back in. And there used to be like a big table here, but I guess there was a guy living in here and he was a bigger guy and didn't want the table in here. And I guess the table is over back there and here's some more flooring. He says he has all the flooring, which is hard to believe because there's only like three packages, but I don't know, I don't do flooring. And then here's one of the beds and here's another bed and the table part of the tables are in here and then here's the little sink and then there's more tile and stuff like that in there for the floor those i think is for the table in the bathroom doesn't look too terribly bad so not sure if we're going to finish this all up and then put a price on it but I think I'm going to throw it on Facebook, take some pictures of it, clean it up a little bit, and see what we can get for trades for it. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And there will be more videos like this soon, so subscribe.